Hey guys, and welcome back to Impulse SV's Patreon server. Yes, we are still waiting for our server name, but hopefully that will be coming soon and make it a little bit easier for me to do the introduction. But we are starting today outside number four Privet Drive, outside our starter house, and I've been doing a little bit of work inside, um, which you can probably see in the window. So we're going to go and have a quick look at that first. I've not done everything. There's nothing upstairs just yet, apart from the walls, but I've been working on it. And today we are going to be heading over to the shopping district to start there but this is what we got done last time i have added a few small details as you can see i had an idea about those extra black uh, darker bricks that we were talking about last time i've just used some steps to add in that little bit of extra detail in the right place um which makes it look a little bit better but if we head in here here we have all the walls completed i've started decorating some of the walls with banners and lanterns and paintings we've got a little sideboard here we go through into let's go in here first we have the cupboard under the stairs nice and cozy and then we have the kitchen in here ready complete with smoker for a cooker um and we have our cupboards. I've been playing around with the armor stands, trying to get a few things uh, figured out with that. Yeah, just for a little bit of extra detail. This was my favorite, it was my microwave, which took about half an hour just to make, but uh, these need moving. This is just storage at the minute. So through here, we've got our dining room with our TV. It needs a little bit more detail in, um, but this is gonna take a bit more armor stand work. Through into the living room, we have our fireplace, bookshelves, sofa, chairs, etc. in here and our carpet down. So that's what we've got so far. Um, I need some end rods. I'm going to turn this into like a coat rack. So I'm going to just get some end rods across here and then use the armor sands to do it. So there is like armor hanging, like a coat rack. Up here, we've got the walls complete, but obviously nothing in. So uh, any of the rooms, they are all empty at the minute but i've done this little bit of detail on the ceiling with the court stairs around now i might change this out for actual smooth quartz as well when i've got enough but uh, just so it matches color but um i haven't really got enough quartz to do that just yet and then we've got the conservatory has got nothing in and lt is just our uh our little bits that we've been using so we've for wool and for smelting and things like that. It's all going to be cleared out when I'm done. But that is what we've got so far in the starter house. I've still got all of my chests over there, which kind of uh, getting more and more. So I need to get this cleared out. I've started taking some things up to the main base to uh, the little storage room I've made. Um, but each time I go up there, I just take an inventory full. But, like I said, today we are going to head over to the east side of the spawn. Okay. <laughs> That's a bit random, just burying a banner. Oh. Uh, let's put my armor back on. Let's have a look. Oh, cool. That's a banner with the street name on. That's cool. I know that she's been working on a big map, which I actually have a look at on the way in. Um, that's why there's a banner on my mailbox. She's been marking down all of them. Let's head in now quickly on the way over to the east side and have a look. So... I spoke to one of the mods and got my shopping area plot sorted because it's supposed to be a 30 by 30 but um, for my idea I needed a 20 by 40 or even further and this, they were happy with me having a 20 by 40 um, so that's been laid out and now I'm just going to lay out where each of the shops are so here okay so here we are at the shopping district things have really been going up every time i come here something new is here so we've got the market stalls and the bookshop which were here last time but we've also got what's this lost treasures these market stalls are for rent so if anyone wasn't doesn't want to build a shop they can just hire a market stall and sell in here uh, or place on the wall 
we head up here, the bookshop, we have, that's the Lost Treasures one. What? We've got markers, we've got more shops coming up, we've got the Redstone shop, we've got one for beacons, we have, uh, the. I think that's the fortress. Um, what's this one? Seaside imports. Seaside hats. Oh, heads. Turtle shell helmets. Dry kelp blocks. Seagrass. Black dye, of course, is sold out for the amount they've used for the nether, nether hub. I actually will go into the nether hub and show you guys that. But here is our plot here. So you can see now, uh, originally I did have the plot kind of, the corner was up here somewhere. Uh, and it was 30 by 30, but like I said, we've got that changed now. So we've got it marked out by these end stone. Um, and I started marking out a little bit of where the shops are going to go. So this first one is going to go all the way along here. Is going to be our entrance where they need to come in. So, um, what we are going to do for our shopping is Diagon Alley. So we are going to have the Leaky Cauldron here with a little courtyard area here and we're going to have the brick wall entrance. Uh, I'll probably just do a piston door or something. I'll have to get some bricks to make the wall. And then we're going to go in and we're going to have our pathway straight down the middle here all the way down to the end um, which if you can see from over here that's where our end plot is so we've got a nice distance so we're going to head down here and have the center part here and then the very end um, kind of this area here we're going to have one more big build and I'm going to build Gringotts here the Gringotts idea, I'm going to decorate the main floor and have a little tunnel and dig a little bit underground. So actually underneath my shopping plot, I'm going to have some vaults and yet again, the server's restarting. Okay, so there we go. We're back on. Uh, I think that's just to try and sort the lag out. I don't know whether it usually notifies me, but I haven't been keeping an eye on chat. But yeah, anyway, we're going to have a little tunnel down, dig underneath and build little uh, secure vaults. And I'm going to have them so that um, the person who rents out each vault can then rename a piece of paper to whatever they want their password to be. And the only way to open that vault would be then to throw in that uh, named piece of paper with the password on then as long as they know the password they can just if they forget the the paper they can just you know rename another one i'll just have a chest down there with loads of paper in and then we are going to have other shops here so i'm trying to figure out how to do it and how many to do so i was thinking if we do a five by five each but that will only give us a three wide um but it could be a bit longer maybe. So if we did it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, well, we have the area laid out now. When I flattened it all, I've got a few floating bits I need to get up and get rid of. Um, actually, you can kind of climb up vines now without, yes. I forgot now you can climb up vines without, um, without needing to be a solid block behind it. So we can get up here and get rid of the block, then we can see properly. Can I get up? Maybe. There we go, let's just find this piece of wood. There we go, just that one block in the way. I'll get rid of that. So we've got them laid out. Now I've put signs in for the different shops and I couldn't decide which ones to go with. Um, I had a list of the most common, no, what, well, the most common ones or the most well-known ones and what I could use and I couldn't decide between them. So I made the shop slightly smaller. So even though it's even, it should be fine. So there's now a four wide space in each instead of a five. Uh, and then we've got four shops on each side with Gringsots at the end. So we've got the apothecary, which will sell potions and things. We've got flourishing box, which is a book 
flourish, a third of her, flourish and blots, which is a bookshop. We've got the junk shop, which is going to sell lots of different things that don't fit anywhere else. So we've got Madame Malkin's robe for all occasions, which will have all different types of armour and stuff in. We've got Gringotts. Uh, this one I'll probably, when I eventually get out into the end, I'll probably put all that, that kind of stuff in there. Uh, Weezes, Wizards, Weezes, of course, has to be here. Ollivanders, um, I'm going to do something a bit fun with that rather than something you have to pay for. Um, but of course, that has to be here. Quality Quidditch supplies, and then we have Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor here, and then of course, we have the Leaky Cauldron down this side and Gringotts down this end. Now, I made this a little bit smaller, so we've got the seven wide in here. Um, but right now I need to start resource gathering. So if we look at kind of not really the, the movie diagonally, but if we look at the one that they've actually built at Universal in Orlando, I've got a couple of pictures of that. Um, most of them are built with kind of a stone brick, but I don't just want to do the whole thing as solid stone brick. It needs a little bit more detail, but it's mostly stone brick and then the window frames and this whole area around the door frame and the front windows are all different colours. So they've got like a bright purple, one with it's like a dark blue, one with a magenta, uh, one with green. So if we do all these and have eight different colours um, on this for the shop fronts, then we can make this section a bit more colourful, then the higher up section is going to be um, a bit more, you know, grey, stone brick kind of old fashioned houses, which is what the, it's supposed to be. And then the leaky cauldron obviously is very dark, very uh, dirty looking from the outside, from the muggle world. But when we get in, we're going to have our bar, we're going to have the tables and probably then an upstairs with some rooms, uh, like a little inn where people can stay, maybe new, if new players want to stay. I know it's a shopping area, but if people want somewhere to stay, then I'm going to have some rooms up there with some like basic storage and beds and everything up there. And then that is the plan for this. So there we have the whole thing laid out. So now I'm going to have to spend quite a lot of time resource gathering. I am going to need uh, different coloured concrete, different coloured wool. I'm going to need lots and lots of stone, which I do have quite a lot of already, but not really loads because I've not done lots of mining just yet. I am going to need lots of clay because um, I'm going to have, this is like going to be like the cobblestone-y kind of um, floor the brick so i don't just want to use cobblestone i want something a little bit darker so i'm going to use probably use normal the, the, the stone bricks the the normal brick kind of thing here okay so i've done a bit of resource gathering um ready to start going now we've got some chests here ready i bought two shulker boxes from the fortress over here uh, just two diamonds each so i thought why not um i sold quite a lot of string and all my staff scaffolding was sold out so just filled them up and got some shulker boxes to help with the resource gathering so here we have sand and gravel uh, for plenty of concrete which we won't need that much um lots of different colored wool um well, all the different coloured walls set up there. Just a little bit. I didn't need too much of them. That one's empty. Oh, I've been gathering all these different kinds of dyes. So we've got lots of the different colours. Uh, let's do it. Wood. We've got bricks for the path. And I've started gathering quartz for um, the very end building for Gringotts. I probably won't get that one done today. But we'll try at least get the main uh, shops done so we can start stocking them. Um, but I'm going to need a lot of quartz uh, for, for growing out. So I've got some glass and then some stone bricks. And I've got plenty of stone back over at uh, Spawn Town at the house. So I can always go and get more if needed. Okay, so we're starting now. I thought I'd get the floor done first out here. So I just need to clear this up. We get the bricks out of the way first. I've put the little wall in here. This is going to need to be a piston door at some point, but I've just marked that out where we're going to go. So we're going to have a exit door here somewhere from the pub. 
So we go out into the little alleyway. Uh, and then this needs to open up at some point. And then through here, let's just empty my inventory a bit so I can pick stuff up off the floor. Stone. Yeah, let's get rid of these that we don't need right now. That should be fine. We've got bamboo everywhere. Okay, so this whole area here now needs to be stone brick. Now this wall is probably going to go all the way to the corner, then we don't need to do anything with this part here. So this whole section in the middle, all the way down to the very end, needs to be bricks. Now, it was a bit difficult finding the clay I needed, so I just made what I can, and I'll just do this out of slabs, because you won't be able to tell from on top anyway. Um, at least then the amount of bricks we've got will go a little bit further. So let's clear this section out like this and then we can get the bricks laid down just like this. Now I know it does match the wall. I was, I would have preferred if we could get like a dark coloured brick. So let's pick these torches up and place them back on top. So there was like a dark kind of this texture but maybe a little bit darker than the stone bricks kind of colour would have been a little bit better then there would have been a bit of a contrast between the floor and the wall but this is the best we can do there's not really many brick brick type textures in Minecraft unfortunately so this is our walkway and of course we're gonna have some decoration on this outside each of the shop doors um, and then maybe at some point we can work with a few armor stands and have some people walking up and down our streets. So I'm going to go all the way up here to Gringotts and I think I will go down the side here. I'll probably block this section off at some point but we'll see. It might just be better to have more than one entrance um, to get into the shopping area for if people come in from like that direction or something because I think the portal is up in that direction somewhere so let's get this finished just filled in then we can light it up and start working on the houses so at least we are getting somewhere okay so I've been working on this one shop for a lot longer than I wanted to be. I laid out the rest but wasn't quite sure so I edited a few things first and thought I'd just try this one to see how it goes. I kind of got this design so I didn't want it just to be completely smooth like like this side. Um, I thought it would look a bit silly and we need some of the archways and things they're going to be like slightly different on each shop but um, this is the apothecary that we've started with so we have our little living area up here as well as the shop area now obviously we don't have a lot of space um i still got a bit of work to do in here get some brewing stands in um and sort out where the stock's gonna go um but these are not gonna have uh too much stuff in but i need to have space i'm thinking of switching these out for barrels actually um to put some stock in as well but this is what we've got to start with and I'm quite happy with how this one turned out I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this with the wall if I'm going to make that all the way up or if I'm just going to leave it there um, I think I'll see how it goes when everything else is built now this is looking so cool I've got the scaffolding down got all of these places done now let's just move my shulker boxes out the way if possible uh, what don't I need that there we go so we have all our shop fronts done we have signs on most of them that one still needs a sign up this one's got a sign up okay so I think it's just the one that I missed the sign on oh two okay so we've got the red and the brown one left to do signs on and obviously this is going to be grinned gots but we've got all our houses done. We've got our little mismatch roofs. 
inside every single one is done up to the ceiling this one's a little bit smaller than the others um this side's a little bit taller uh, and i've got a little bit of the overhang going um so now i just need to work on the door i did start doing the leaky cauldron now my only problem with this i've not quite quite finished yet oops let's fix that um my main problem with this is from the main street you're only really supposed to see this section because it was supposed to look tiny on the outside but then you go in and it's massive on the inside but we can't really do that without having to build all the shops in front of it i mean i could build kind of just a shop front so make it look like a normal street and then have just this bit look visible but then you won't be able to see anything from the windows unless I put paintings on this side if I build a fake shop front, because this is my boundary here, from here, this row, so I do have kind of this row to work with, it. so I could really build fake shop fronts here, and then on this side of the fake shop front wall, just put pictures outside each of these, in so you don't just look at a wall, but anyway. So this, I need to work on the bar, and then I've got the, started where the bar's going to, the bar section is going to go sorry that side is going to be tables and then up here i'm going to have a couple of little rooms so i've been working on this now and i want an opinion on the shop front i wasn't happy with seeing the whole of the leaky cauldron i just wanted the uh, small entrance that you you're supposed to see so i did this how does it look built these little fake shop fronts here that it literally is nothing in the mix except the front put some paintings outside where the windows are so you don't just see the inside of a wall and then we have the leaky cauldron entrance here i'm happy with it i like how it looks i it isn't very wide here i think i might just make another shop face here to cover the side bits as well um just kind of the same as this but on this side here because it does stick out a little bit this side over here is kind of flush oh no it was it was flush with this uh but i added a little bit extra and i added this extra piece in so i could do the same here and just build another shop front to this to cover the whole of the leaky cauldron um and then you've just got the stone bricks at the back there so i think i'll do that i just need to get a little bit more uh resources for that but if we go in to the leaky cauldron now we have our bar here and we have all our tables lights on the wall and pictures on the wall uh, i had to change this up a little bit to fit in the redstone for the door um and then if we go upstairs i did build a staircase but again with the redstone in the way uh, it was a bit awkward now we have a room here with just with the chests and barrels in um people can if we get any new players on they need somewhere to temporarily they can always use these rooms and we've got another one here the same and then there is also space up here when when the roof's finished because i ran out of dark oak we go up here there is a little bit of space up here actually so it, we could do rooms here if we wanted to but i don't really think there's a need for that uh, that's the wrong color there we go so let's go back down so that is the leaky cauldron and then if we go here we've got the exit doorway here i'm gonna have to put a sign on to make sure people know where to go and we come out here we've got a button here which i don't know whether to keep the button or to change it um for a pressure plate i mean ideally the button would be here but because these move the button just pops off um i mean i guess i could put a block here and place it on the side of that it's a bit more visible but i'll have to play around with that but if we press our button we have our doorway open i've got yeah wasn't very fast at that uh, i've got pressure plates on this side for going back through and um i didn't really want to block these off where the pistons come out so i just uh, put some spruce uh press uh, not press plates what are they called trap doors there to hide it and it looks okay but uh, we've got that there and then we have diagon alley here so now what we need to do is work on getting the interior of the shops done 
I'm running out of time a bit, so I'm going to just do the basics, um, get the floors done, get the counters in, and then cover up the uh, upper areas for now, and I can work on them later. Um, I just need some chests and some barrels in each for stock. I did move the stuff into the junk shop already that was outside, so the cobweb scaffolding and string um, are into the junk shop. Now this one I think needs to kind of be piled up a bit and have quite a lot of stuff in that's going to be a bit of everything. Um, but junk shops are usually kind of just stacks of, well, junk. So we've got a lot in there. And then I just need to mark off somehow the ones that are not going to be open yet. So Flourish and Blots is not going to be open yet. Um, Quidditch Supply is going to be open, the junk shop's open. This one's not going to be open yet. This one's not going to be open yet because I've not been embusting, although, now that I'm talking about embusting, I did get myself some wings, uh, you might have noticed before. I recorded the me doing the dragon fight and then I've come to uh, check it today and it's it's not there. Well, well the sound's there and, and a black screen. Um, I don't know what it was. I think there was an update on OBS and then it's just messed with my settings when I've updated it and I just didn't notice that it wasn't recording the screen so unfortunately we lost that footage. Um, but if I want more Elytra I might do another dragon fight or two because um, it, it drops one every time. So if I can get some more gas tears and uh, do another fight then I will record it next time. But that is what we need to do now. So I'm going to go grab some stuff for the flooring. I think I'm going to just keep it with the spruce like this. Uh, maybe grab some dark oak and change this out a little bit so it's not like all one colour all the way through. And then we can get these shops filled up. So I am done with this for today. Well, for now. There is going to be a lot more work to do in this, a lot more resource gathering and things to put in. But for today, I've done about as much as I can do it's getting late this has took me a few days now to get done it's been quite a big project since it's not such a large area but uh, let's go in and take a look because you need to clear out all these chests as well so we head on through into the leaky cauldron which we have already seen we head through and open the door I added a pressure plate there instead of the button because I thought when you come in the button was here, so it was a bit difficult. I didn't want people to have to be looking around, so I just did add a pressure plate there as well. And we have the shops mostly done and complete. So we have the apothecary, and um, they have all got signs in saying more stock coming soon, just so people don't know that's not everything. So I'm going to put potions up here, which I've not done any brewing yet, but I have got potions ingredients, one diamond as stacked, so we've got phantom membranes, we've got golden carrot for night vision we've got some sugar which i do need some more sugar cane um we have puffer fish nether wart blaze powder glistening melons which i actually ran out of gold making the golden carrots so uh, i've not got many of them at the minute uh cauldrons and some glass bottles in there we move on to the magical menagerie there is not really a lot in here yet. I've got to go do some hunting for mob heads. But we've got some. We've got squid, skeleton, phantoms, puffer fish, pillager, cow. And lots and lots of enderman heads. So these are all one diamond each. Ollivanders is still closed. That's one I've got to work on. Um, we have Madam Malkin's robes for all occasions. Which isn't really got anything in at the minute. I'm doing the banner patterns. So at the minute I've just made these. I've got to go and try and get creeper heads and golden apples and I think the other one is with the skeleton skulls and then also find a cartographer to trade with to get the globe banner pattern and then I'm going to fill this up when I go uh, raiding in the end but at the minute that's all we've got in here. Weasleys, wizards, weasers. Now this needs a bit more decoration in but right now we have our prank service. Here, so if anyone wants help with a prank, they can come and request help in there. We have the junk shop, which still has scaffolding, cobwebs and string in, and lots of space to add other stuff later. We've got quality quidditch supplies, which has got saddles, and then I stocked up 
There is six stacks of each coloured wall, a bit extra black and a bit extra white. I'm going to fill these up a little bit more, just got to be running back in two, and this is just kind of the extra I had that wasn't full stacks. Um, once I've got some more leather, I can start putting the leather on sale in there. And then the bookshop is pretty much decorated, we just need a little counter, but uh, I haven't got the books there yet. Um, although I found a village near my claim base area, so I managed to get two villagers down there locked into a room, so I can start now start trying to breed them and get uh, books organised pretty soon. But that is this place done, so all that's left now apart from Ollivander's is Gringotts which we need to start working on so that is everything I am really happy with how this turned out I mean I know I could have done a lot more with this if I had a bigger area but for the space I had I'm really happy with it I think it looks really really cool but I am out of time for now so with that being said thanks guys for watching don't forget to leave a like if you did like the video and as always don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you have any other ideas of what i can put in each of the shops please let me know in the comments i am always open to ideas uh, maybe there are some things i can gather and put in that i haven't already thought of and if you have any little tweaks or ideas let me know as well so thanks for watching guys i will see you next time